Let's go ahead and make a dark mode of the Chrome Dev Summit site really quick, shall we? Let's do it with Vizbug. Let's just see uh, what's that like. I'm going to launch Vizbug and um, I'm just going to get started and just kind of talk through what I'm doing here. So I'm going to click on this FAQ item. I have the style inspector chosen so that when I click something, I get this label. And if you notice, when I hover on the label, if I click the label, I select them all. So now I have every FAQ that's in this little child space. I can go here to the background color and pull that into view here and go ahead and choose something that's much darker. And then click on the text and pick a lighter text. Oh, but those need to be specially changed. So here, I'll just grab them all as a heading like this. Go back to my color picker, pick something light, maybe even a little in the hint of blue. Yes, I like it. I'll click here, grab all the paragraphs on the page. I could make a query in the search here to sort of just grab the paragraphs of this, but eh, it's no big deal. We'll just grab all these paragraphs and uh, we'll probably be changing most of these anyway. So, and I'll do those also a little bit of a light shade of blue but still, you know, really light towards the light side. Okay, so there's the FAQs. I can pretty much leave this open as I continue around here. So I can click this uh, footer space, uh, make sure I have the background color selected. Give that a nice background color. In fact, I could even almost just leave the, the, the text down there. Here's the border. You can change the border color by hitting this button. Let's find a nice blue. Something maybe in a darker set. Let's see how that look. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so we've got this main page here, this part of the page here. Grab that, make that dark. Make sure there's still some contrast with our, our cards that are popping. Excellent, we can even grab this FAQ space here, make sure we're on text, and give this a nice blue color too. Nice, like it. All right, just move up the page here. This one's got a white background as well. Make that, oh, I don't want to rotate the hue there. I want to. Give it a nice color gray. I could be pasting in values in here as well if I wanted to. Uh, oh, and look, I should have done all these headers at the same time. So here, let me grab all the headers, make sure I'm in the text color, and let's give them a nice blue. Excellent. Look, you can see our blue text found its way up in here. That was from our paragraph selector when we did that. Make this one a nice light background color as well. Looks like that's all good here. Anyway, as you can see, it's that easy to use Vizbug to kind of make a dark mode for something. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, here, I missed the header. Let's grab this header. Background. Yeah, really dark. Yeah, super dark. And then uh, our text here. Maybe a little bit lighter on the Oh, look, that's not effective. So we got to grab each of these. I'll just hold shift and select them. Grab my text here. And now I'm changing their color. There we go. I'll give these a nice brighter blue. Perfect. I'll hide Vizbug. And basically, I'm ready to take a screenshot and send that to Dev. And we're done. I hope you had fun watching me do a dark mode of, uh, or just like an experimental quick pass dark mode, or even if you wanted to make your own dark mode, it takes just a couple minutes. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of how to use the color picker in Vizbug. <laughs> See you later.